to Doodling with Purpose, voted the Internet's number one series on teaching hieroglyphics by my mom and dad. But it's actually the only one, because the other ones just tell you what hieroglyphics are. We actually go week by week and go through every single glyph. And at this point, we are narrowing down at the end of the double consonant glyphs. So pull up a mug. We're going to jump in. We're almost to the triple consonants, and then we'll do the ideograms. All right, more for that later. First, let's review the three glyphs we learned last week. And remember to keep writing them each week, going back all the way to lesson one. See if you can get through all of them, starting with the, uh, the vulture, all the way through where we are. So last week, we did the lasso, loop there, and then a little flourish, the o uh, or o, oh, sometimes called o, oh, but it's not really an o. Oh. Then we have the harpoon, which starts as a rectangle, tail, top, circle, front, and down. Harpoon. And then we have the rock on a stick. All right, fluffy bunny time. It's time to do the cutest hieroglyph of them all. The bunny rabbit, or the hare, the tail of Peter Rabbit, available now in hieroglyphics. It actually is. This is like a real book. It's unbelievable. Go check it out. It's like the whole story in hieroglyphics. Great tool, right? If you want to keep learning them. Nope, this is the hieroglyphic rabbit. It looks kind of like this. This is actually a cute version. This is a real stone version, you can see, and it shows up a lot. Uh, you'll see the what they call the hare or the rabbit tons of times. It's got a long skinny body, legs shooting out towards the front, and those big floppy ears. Not exactly Bugs Bunny, but you can definitely tell it's a rabbit. Uh, you know, it's not going to be mistaken for one of the birds. It is the wn, W-N sound. Here's how to draw it. One long stroke. Go forward for the leg, up and around for the snoot, up for one ear, then we're going to go back, Loop down, around for the back leg, connect, that's the first time we'll break, then the second ear, round circle for the eye, and a uh, little tail. All right, once again, around, up, around for the snoot, one ear, back around, second leg, connect, make the second ear a circle, and you can add the tail if you want, it doesn't always have the tail. All right, so legs around, the front nose, the snoot, back around to the back, curving around to the butt, and around to the other leg, connect, do the second ear, and a circle, and tail if you want. All right, next up, we're going to get into another plant, and this time, instead of doing, like, stalks and reeds and all of that stuff, we're actually going to do a flower. I think it's the first flower we've done. All right, well, we did the lotus pool, but uh, this is this is... This is a direct flower. It's kind of like a daisy. I mean, not, not this daisy, but kind of like this daisy. I don't know if they had daisies in ancient Egypt, but it makes it also like the hair. It makes the wn sound, W-N, wn. And uh, it looks like this. It's uh, not too difficult to draw. If you can draw a daisy, you can draw the hieroglyphic flower. It starts with a circle, and we're going to do four petals, so with curved lines on each side. Curve down, connect curve, and connect. And that's it. That's the flower. So it starts with a circle. That's a bad circle. I can't draw. Then we're going to do four petals around, each with curved lines, kind of like the R mouth glyph just done four times. Circle, and then up, and connect, and down curve, down curve, side curve, and side curve. And that is the flower. All right. Last up today, we are going to do the bull. And we're not doing a full bull. We once did a headless calf. We're just actually going to be doing the very top uh, where you see the horns. Um, not even the body, not even the head, not the ears, not the tail, not the legs, just the horns. And it's interesting how this glyph uh, eventually becomes the letter A in modern English. Uh, you can really, you can trace it all the way back to this glyph. And it makes whoop, W-P. I always think of it like, you know, you're whipping uh, a, a bull, you know, like whip it, whip it good, or something like that. I don't know, that's how I remember it. W-P, whoop. All right, so here's how to draw the bull horns and head. All right, just a curved line down, and then a little box, like a rectangle. That's it. So curve and up, a rectangle, and you're done. Curve and a rectangle. Not bad. So pretty easy this week, not too much of a puzzle to solve. 
the uh, the hair, the rabbit takes a little practice, but the other two are pretty easy, the, uh, the flower and the bullhorn. And uh, that's good because we're going to get into some complicated glyphs coming up, some more animals and some more stuff that insects, lizards, they're right around the corner. And we'll continue our journey, our journey through ancient Egypt from uh, the Nile Delta all the way to the River Valley. Hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know any questions. Leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. Thank you for attending this week's Doodling with Purpose. I'll see you next week where we'll wrap up the double consonants. We're making great progress. Congratulations on all of your work so far. You should really be proud of yourself. I'll see you guys next week. And uh, as always, give this video a like and a subscription because that always that helps tell the YouTube that it's popular enough to share. And we like to share knowledge because sharing is caring. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.